Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on the Minecraft guide and today in this video we are going to be making a full farm for the very simple reason of um, I want to build more trading walls and they require a lot of carpet and to get carpet you wool so yeah so I guess we'll, we're going to need to build a wool farm I don't know where I'm going to build it as of yet, this is the one thing that I don't know where I'm going to build it, but hey, okay. I don't know, I think on the other side of the sugarcane farm, that would be quite good, um, and then yeah, I suppose we'll just sort of take it from there, I guess I'll, the structure of this episode will be very simple, I'm going to build it up, and then, and then I will, yeah, and then I'll talk you through how it works as per normal, and we'll sort of just go along like that. Right, so, the only colours of wool that we're going to need, I don't know, I think we're just going to have like one of every colour for now. And then, if I suddenly need a lot more for another project, I will get a lot more. I will just add in more sections, because this is the good thing, because they're all like individually done things, so, however, I do know one thing's for certain, we need dispensers, so I just will grab, uh, I don't know, I meant, how do you grab the dispensers again, can't remember, I'm useless at remembering stuff like that, dispenser, redstone, that's where if I take, right, uh, and then do, that and then do that and then do that and then cobblestone. Please tell me I've got some. Uh, so I'm gonna have to. Not, oh no, I've got a stack. Good. Okay, dispense. So you can only craft these things one at a time. This is like maximum velocity speed that you can craft them at. Uh, I don't know, I guess we'll get like 10 for now. And I've run out of cobblestone. Okay, 9 will do for now. You back, you back. Right, so I think we're going to build it over here. And we're going to build it just... Well, where these cows are more or less, just over here for now, I think. This should be a good location to build it. So, and I'm going to need observers, and I left all of my observers over by the other... Ah, okay. Right, I'm going to go and grab, like, most of my redstone -y stuff that's over there. I will be back in a sec. Right, so we'll take that, I just need to take that, we'll take that. I don't... I'm not 100% sure on what I need to build these. I have a good idea, though, so I'll take that. I'll take my blocks of redstone. We'll be going in here, then we'll take that, we'll take that. I guess we'll take them and that and then them. And those. And uh, you know what? I'm actually going to do some investments, get some stonks. Because I'm gonna need buy Okay, I guess we can only buy twenty-four brass from him. I was going to buy more, but no, since you can't interact with your workstation, you can't. Okay. Oh, wait, has he done something? Did he replenish his train? No, he's just become a mess. That oh, and he sells name tags. That's good. We're going to need that. Good. Right. We'll put all the... We'll cut a mark. Massive emeralds back. Right. There we go. I think going to go. I will have... Cut to a time lapse now of me building this up, and I will see you guys in a sec.
So then they're pretty much back from an AFK session in. Yeah, this might be a small issue that some of these minecarts have been pushed back, and this one's been pushed off somehow. So I'm gonna just, just put you uh, back on the top there. So let's have a look, how many have you got in there? 27, well that's not very good. 31, that's not the best. I was gone for like, I thought I was gone for like an hour. Okay, well those two I would expect to be lower because their minecarts have almost fallen off. Um, set pelicans. Nope, okay, yeah, we're just gonna have to destroy you, and destroy you, and then I'll take you, and then I will take Right, so I'll take that one, put that one in there, and then I'll still grab two of them, let's put a few on there. Right, so 49, 38 is still the best, I must admit. Okay, that's more, I was expecting like a stack from each of them, okay, that's more, they're a bit more like it, but, hmm, slightly disappointing, but, oh well, it's all okay. I added in some signs, they say what colour they are, like that one's magenta, that one's pink. All very, very simple. However, I don't really like the fact that the minecarts got pushed off. So I think we might have to do a little bit of mob proofing. So we'll just... Right, so everybody, that should have all been mob proofed now. Because we have, yeah, we, we've put a load of torches in here. They should all be sharing away basically. Right, so I now need to make sure we we need lots of things now. So for example now this one shears, okay the this one shears shrivels, yeah, it's not that bad. However, if we run all the way over to this one all the way over here, um If we hop onto this one, okay, so these ones, okay, their durability is actually not that bad. Oh wow, okay, I would have thought that their durability would have been way lower than that, but okay, okay that's fine. So I would overall say that this is a very, very solid farm. Would recommend you build it. Um, do you need to build like multiple modules of this? So I would build this again, and again, and again. Well, that all depends on how much wool you want. I have no plans on building with wool, I just need it for my double carpets for my villager district over there. So, yeah, I don't really. That's all pretty good. Well, so that's a pretty good solid wool farm. So, we need, probably I would say, two other things to build more of those um, trading and things because you see you need for the modules you need observers well there's no way to really farm quartz unless you trade it with villagers so that's out of the question we can't automate, automate farming quartz now you need wood Pretty much everything there you need wood. You want to stock anything there. So I mean for that, that's not that bad big of a pain because I've got like that all of those trees just over there. So I don't particularly want to have to like cut them down every single time I wanna build them because you know that's involved in the sticky pistons, it's also involved in involved in pretty much everything there. So, um, we need to trap doors and fence gates, that's a lot of wood. And I can't bother to cut all that wood. So I need a automated press to do that for me, obviously. Uh, the best way to do that is a TNT power tree farm. Um, I was watching Il Mango's video the other day on it, and I believe, if memory serves correct, that it requires honey blocks. And honey blocks are something that we currently don't have. So, 
to get honey blocks, we're going to need an automated honey farm. Um, automated honey farms, they require more dispensers. We get more dispensers. Yeah. To get more dispensers, we're going to have to do more AFK and the version skeleton farm. So, yeah, that's quite a big long process to get them. But I mean, we'll. Yeah, to get honey blocks. So we need honey blocks for that, but we also need slime blocks for it, and we also need sticky pistons for um for the for the trading hall and for it itself. I think the Dream Teens Crown Tree Farm. But to get good quantities of sticky pistons, we need um. What do you call it? I've completely forgotten. We need um, a slime shop, a slime, a slime shop, a slime farm. We build a slime farm. That's fairly simple. You just have to basically dig a big hole in a slime chunk. So it's not that big of a deal to build it, but you know, I would. That's quite a big project to take on because you know you've got to find the slime chunk. You've got to. You gotta do a lot of things, so that's a big project that I will probably be taking on in the next episode. So yeah. Wish me luck on that, I suppose, because that's gonna be quite hard. Uh, right, and let's just pour them in there, there we go. Right, and then yeah, so it is a lot of stuff to be doing in the next episode. The next episode will be a bit of a long one to make up for this one being a bit of a shorter one. So, yeah. I don't really know what else to. Uh, we also need cobblestone to craft a lot of different things. Which, again, you know, it is. It's not that bad actually to get because you can we could just go on a two hour mining session and bam we got loads of it all of a sudden. But um Yeah. Difficult stuff. It's just all where when we could just build a TNT powered cobblestone farm, which again requires slime. So yeah, slime farm next episode is basically the point that I'm trying to get to. So I think I'm just going to continue to harvest all of this stuff and I might actually cut down some trees because I'm going to need the wood for lots of different things. I need wood for. Hey, I don't really know what else to say on that except for, yeah, they are some future projects. I've got lots and lots and lots that I need to do, uh, before I can do those things, I need to do other things, so, you know, I've probably got like the next, I don't know, how many episodes, like a lot of episodes, all planned out in my head, I just need to, you know, like, film them, and, well, make, do the things, which, like for example, this episode took probably, this will be cut down to about 10 minutes, but just to give you an idea, I've probably been including the probably nearly hours worth of AFK that I did, it's probably taken about, I don't know, maybe 5 hours to record, and it'll probably be cut down to about 10 minutes. So that just gives you a bit of an idea of how long, I don't know, at least I think this episode will be about 10 minutes, I'm not 100% sure on that though. So I do put like, for example the slime farm building, like that will be cut down to again about 10-20 minutes, but uh, it will have taken, let's just say a lot more than that to record. Oh, we'll go over and we'll do some trading with villagers as well now. Let's 
basically just to give you guys an idea, like a 10 minute episode, really not what I want to be doing. I would much, much rather be doing 20 minutes episodes, but I'm, uh, that's always really annoying whenever that happens. Yeah, I'm basically, I'm not good at tracking out episodes, so yeah, they always get cut down a bit, it's quite short. Shorter lengths of time. So, yeah, we can end up with about a stack of spuds here, which is pretty good. I really should probably get my hoe back from the village district. I think my hoe is still over at the village district. I should really bring it back because it'd be good to like get some of these bad boys killed. There we go. Right, and that's all of that. Right, what else have we got to do up here then? Yeah, I don't particularly want those arrows. Right, so is this all I need for my training? Yeah. No, actually, I did notice something in here. If I put that away and put that away, I've got. Yeah, I've got like quite a bit of wheat in here still. In here, so I'm just going to put a breed up the cows as well. Because I need more leather for more lecterns. Uh, passive mob farm coming soon, probably. I don't know. Well, I say coming soon, maybe like five weeks from now. I mean, you can breed up more than that, surely. Is it about to come up tomorrow? I think we'll get up to the village district before then. So, we got a lot. A lot to do. But, mm, I don't know. But also, it'd be really handy if we could get the villagers to trade for iron. And then build like the, like loads of, like maybe three or four different designs for iron farms. And we could like test them all out and see which one's the best. I think the current best one is the Nembom design, but you never know how. Huh? We might find one that's more, well actually no, the most efficient one is the one that Tango Tech built in Hermitcraft uh, Season 7, that's probably the most efficient one out there at the moment, but you know, you get the whole idea. Hello there, what are you trading for? That's a pretty useless trade. Hello there, friend. Yes, I certainly would love to trade with you. Think we're going to have to trade all of this? Oh, yeah, we did. Oh, let's trade you in. Thank you. There we go. Right, let's come over to you. You want potatoes. There you go. I'll give you all of my potatoes. Now. Yeah, some of these guys, oh yeah, he's got a boost train, he's got a boost train, good, thank you. I like my boost train, um, Right, so let's go over here now, and then let's do melon blocks, there we go. We already got, we already got some melons over here, and then let's go make melon blocks, yeah, there we go. And I do blame this guy, yeah, he trains for beat trick, but since he can't interact with his workstation, can't like give you things, which is annoying, but oh well. You can't like replenish his trades, that's what I was aiming. There we go. So, this thing over here, it should partly like also be a carrot and potato farm, that's why the hopper's down here. And then there you go, you can like I've got 40 potatoes in there. And then, so you yeah, so we'll just go up here, and you my friend, you yeah, I want to level up you, because if I can level you up then, yeah, that would be just be good. Right, so, 
Feature, yeah, come on, you ask, yeah. Yeah, I'll go knock on that. So do you try to go on that? So you try... Golden Carrots. Now that is a definite yeah, and that I will definitely be trading this in the future for them. But I'm pretty pleased with my selection of villagers, obviously. I definitely need more like a protection villager. Efficiency villager, they would definitely be priorities of mine. But hey, and definitely, yeah, for pretty much everything I said earlier is my priority in terms of villagers. There we go. Oh, that's not bad. How many, how many emerald blocks? Is that from that? So ten? That's not too bad. Put them in there. I should have brought over all that sugar cane. Um, right, I'm gonna go back over there. And I'm gonna go and get all that sugar cane and convert it all into paper and trade with some more of these guys because villager trading, I don't know, I'm just. Started doing quite a bit of it, and I've become a bit obsessed with it. I must admit. Right, villagers are the best and the worst things in the world. If they do what you want them to do, and they give you good trades, they're the best things in the world. If they're annoying and they don't do what you want them to do then they're probably the worst things in the world. Yeah, that's my review of villagers. Bother, but then also, it depends. If things just aren't going your way, just stop. Don't bother anymore. It's not worth it. That's my ultimate review of villagers. Right, so then what else have we got here? We've got some more pumpkins, but I will... Definitely harvest you. Thank you. Thank you. And then thank you. And then thank you. I do, I can't wait to get an automated farm for them. Right, so we'll go in there. Be farm, we'll take them all sugar cane. Should I take a like a stack? Yeah, I'm just gonna take that stack of wheat over as well. Right, so pretty. Um, yeah, it's been about 15 hours since I recorded that previous clip. So I can. All I know is that I was going over to do some more villager trading. So I completely have forgotten what I was talking about. So, yeah. Um, I think I was talking about future projects. About all I can remember, I tried to have a think, but yeah, that's all I can remember. I was talking about future projects. So, yeah, and what the plan looks like for the next probably 10 episodes or so. But yeah, so let's just go over here now. Let's finish off our training. And yeah, let's just. I don't know, and then we'll call the episode there. Right, so we need. Any, uh, Hey, uh, and you just get more paper. There we go, and then I think I've also got some, some more melons in here somewhere. I've got another slice of it there. So now I've only got eight minutes. Oh, that's a shame. Right, um, so then let's go up here now. So, who hmm, you're mending, but I might try and get a cheaper mending villager, so you're not 100% yet. You're, you're flame, but you don't have the paper trade. You've got it, what are you? You're dead strider 3. Yeah, let's just, give, let's just give you a couple of stacks. And I just threw a load of emeralds at you, didn't I? Uh, Right, so who else has got the paper trade? 
Have you got them? You've got the victory. You're all you're unlocked the same man as him, right? You are you've not got the paper trade. Okay. So then let's just give some more to you, I guess, try and level you up a little bit. And then there we are. There we go. There we go. Wow. He has locked out that trade, that's how much I traded with that. And then I will take that, thank you very much. And presumably you just don't know you haven't got a pleasure trade yet. Then you take the potatoes, no I don't have potatoes. I will give you my pumpkins my friend. I will also give you my wheat. I will go and get my other wheat. Uh, where is it? There it is. And then I will also give you this. Uh, which one of you is it? It's you, isn't it? No, it's you. I always give the wrong one. I'm so stupid. There we go. Yeah, definitely going to be doing that trade in the future. Right, so just quickly, this looks really, really ugly. This little staircase. So we're gonna make it look slightly less ugly. Let's get some stairs. Wow, well, we can only get four. Okay. Uh, okay, well, I guess we will just go like that, that, and then that, and then go on here as well. Yeah, and then also take out you, you're not quite required. Then we can get stairs going all the way up here, and then if we could also, you know what, actually, this, this top, that top block there is not quite required, so we can do that. Then they go, we're right there, and then let's go down here. Let's catch up another. Oh, we seriously, are we seriously not gotten? Wow, we're one short. Well, I would rather it look nice than have to make a parkour jump, so I guess we can say goodbye to you. And then let's craft up the stairs. And yeah, there we go, craft out some stairs. And then let's put you there. No, that's the wrong way. We want to start with you. So the wrong way, let's get you. And then let's put it off to the top part of you. Yep, there we go. And then let's put that in there. That should no, that's the one that we take one way around. Okay, right. There we go, that's better. So that now looks a little bit better. There we go. Right, so I'm going to grab my emeralds, and I want to unlock some more of these guys' trades, so grab those, and then let's get one more pot of emeralds, there we go, 38 emeralds, that should be pretty good. Uh, there we go, right, then let's go up here, so you, you sell silk touch, well I definitely want some silk touch. Okay, yep, if that will stop lagging. So then, how many? Oh, I'm gonna need more emeralds. I wanna see what else he's got. So, hopefully. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Right, and then let's see. What else have you got then, my friend? Drop his two? That's not bad. That's not that bad. That could definitely, excuse me, be better. But I'm gonna take these seven bookshelves, and this is a bit of a flaw in the villager trading system. I can just take these seven bookshelves, I can pillar up, and I can break them, and then I can say, "What do you want?" Hmm. Yeah, you see, I am technically losing emeralds there, so but hey. 
What else? Does somebody have... Do you guys have trade for books? Okay, let's trade in all of you. There we go. Then he should restock in a second. Thank you. And then you've got sweeping edge 2 and glass. That really... Well, well the glass trade's not too shabby. Okay, that's pretty good. We leveled you up, but then we could level you up even more. How many do we need to get? By buying some lanterns. I'm basically spending all my emeralds here. This could be a complete waste, but I'm sure I'll, I will probably need these emeralds in the future, so... There we go, we've got another 54. What's he got for sale now? He's got... What's that then? Channeling! Oh yes, that's good, that's good. This is a pretty good villager. Yeah, that's a very good villager, actually. Okay. What about you then, my friend? Well, I can certainly trade with you a little bit. Give you some better train. Level you up. There we go, okay. Oh, no, we want a short. Oh, well. Luckily. Oh, hey, if I left a bookshelf there, I should have broken you. Now uh, this guy now says uh, chase four inks extra and emerald. Well when we get a squid farm set up that'll be good. Yeah, this guy's pretty good. I'll, t I'll take him and you're obviously very good, mate. You're pretty good. What about you? What have you got for me? Nine emeralds for a bookshelf and you have to infinity, so that's not too bad. So if I buy wow, I've just Pretty much run out of emeralds. Okay. Well, I guess we'll break these and trade them back and get some more emeralds from another villager. See, this is just a small, slight flaw in the villager trading system. The fact that we can do this is slightly broken. Uh, you know, who was I trying to level up? I was trying to get you up or some stuff. So, yeah, so there we go, but I've not made back anywhere near enough of emeralds. Wow, we just like, lost all of our emeralds. Right. <sighs> oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> um, right, I think, uh, you know what, we'll just cut our anonymous banner here. Since apparently we're like collecting them here by the looks of it. There we go. And have we got any more potatoes in the bottom of this chest? That would be quite nice if we did. Oh yeah, we can make another trade then. That's pretty good. And then I promise you then I will sign off the episode. Uh, there we go. Um, we'll take another emerald. Right. So then everybody, this has been a... I think this has been a very successful episode. Oh yeah, we got the wolf farm set up. How could I forget? I suppose we should probably end off the episode over there. But we did, we did a fair amount of villager trading, I would say, just then, and, you know, we may or may not have lost a lot of our emeralds, but we've leveled up some of our villagers, which is very good. Between episodes, I am going to go AFK over at the wolf farm, and I am also going to do quite a bit of um, melon and pumpkin farming and stuff, so we can get those trades and stuff, so then we can get an emerald factory going. But really, we need the villagers that trade for iron. Because uh, then I can, um, then if we get that, then I can set up an iron farm, and then, yeah, then we can basically just be generating emeralds, which is amazing. So, the wool farm, the wool farm, though, the main project of this episode, has been a massive su overall success, I would say. Quite, it, I'm sure it's been loaded this entire time when we're over at the villager district, so... You know, overall, I'd say that it's pretty good. I don't know why I just went into the enchantment table, because then I'll, uh, probably because I saw that I got 39 levels. Yeah, so overall, this is pretty good. Let's just have a quick look and see. I will probably decorate this in a, in, in a future episode. We're just going to build. We're going to make this look nice, and we're, we're going to probably make the cow farm look better, we're going to make that look better. You know, we're going to do some stuff. And did I just see that there was some wool floating on the floor? No, I didn't. Good. Um, right, so, yeah, let's go in here. Da, 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 da. Then, this was the last one. We've got 41 black wool. I wouldn't make it. 43 light grey wool. I wouldn't make it. 
Dover stack of grey wool. I don't really know what we're gonna use the grey stuff for, but it's like 51 white wool, I'll take it. 42, not bad, not bad, not bad. 34, oh yeah, because this guy I did forget to die him. Slightly embarrassingly, so we had already had like a stack of um thingy my bubble and cactus green in there, so you know, not bad. Blue pretty good. I think I do actually like. Like if I just take that out, like I think that blue wool actually does look quite nice, so that'll definitely be something for a future episode, but we will uh, and at some point we will have to come back in and restock the shears. And there's something that I did also want to show you. Dispensers. Once you see oh wait, no, that's been placed the wrong way. Once you see this you won't be able to unsee it. It looks like a shocked face, like that's the eye, that's the eye, that's the mouth. Yep, well once you see it, you can't unsee it. Pretty good lime wool. I don't again don't know what we're gonna use that or the cactus green or the yellow for, but I could see us using the orange at some point, because again I like the orange and blue texture one. So hey. So I think if I can get there, there we go. And then I would very simply like to Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in a brand new video tomorrow. See you later.